learn how to use Scratch, and three, connecting the two together. So the first thing you're going to do is open the bongo game, and you're going to use left arrow key. too often because we always just expect the lights to come on when we flip the switch but there's actually a lot of work that goes into making that happen so um, but then at night I build websites uh, as like a freelancer so basically just working kind of like my own business so and that's how I got involved with Tech Girls and met Kelsey. My name is uh, Danielle Sutherland. I work for the University of Pennsylvania. I've been working here for about uh, 16 years plus. I'm a network being specialist. So we deal with installing the routers, switches, and hubs, things that you connect your devices to to get on the internet. And I got involved with Tech Girls just by uh, taking my daughter to one of their workshops. And I liked it so much, I started volunteering. So again, I'm Miss K. We have Alexis, Claire, and Danielle, and all of us have name tags. So if you need help at any time, raise your hand, we're here to help you. So a few rules for the class today. Like I said, please raise your hand if you have a question. Um, also, if you need to go to the bathroom, that's fine. Just let one of us know. And actually, where are the bathrooms here? Back there. Back there. Okay, perfect. So raise your hand. Tell us if you're going to the bathroom. We will have a break halfway through where you can have snacks. Um, but that's pretty much it. We're here to have fun. So let's everyone stand up. We're going to play a quick game. The game is called Lines and Blobs. So I'm going to give you a direction and we will either form into one line based on what I say or multiple blobs. Let's do blobs based on which grade you're in. I'm in seventh grade. <laughs> Let's do a line of everyone's birthday. And just the day, not the year. Um, so I'm June 10th. December. Is this January? January to December. Winter birthday. And I'm June. Okay, everyone, we're gonna get started. So if I could have your attention up here, please exit your Roblox, whatever you're on. Thank you for coming to our Tech Girls workshop today. We're going to be doing Makey Makey. 
and everyone should have one Makey Makey kit at their spot. Perfect. And instead of using our keyboard, we're going to use the Makey Makey to control our bongos. All right. So using your long red cord, plug the smaller end into your Makey Makey. There's a little gold port. Mm -hmm. There's a gold port. And this is called a micro USB cord. And you should be able to plug your other end, which is your USB side, into your laptop. Okay, so this is a complicated one. Um, this is one where it's very prone to errors, errors because the eraser was so small. And what Caitlin figured out is that if your skin is pressing the alligator clip at the same time as you're pressing the eraser, you can get a false positive. That's a good question. All right, so Ava asked, what is false positive? Did you guys, oh, you want to answer? Okay, I'll explain it. So false positive is when we think a result is one way. So for example, some of them thought the eraser was conductive, but that was actually a false answer. And why is Plato conductive? But this is very low voltage, so there's not a lot of electricity. And you know how you're not supposed to put a um, blow dryer in the bathtub because you'll get electrocuted? Because water and electricity. Um, but with making making, you can connect these to water and play games with it. Because the voltage is so low. Yeah. It's not waterproof. It uses the water to send the current through it. So you can put it in the bathtub. And it won't kill you. you could. It won't kill you. No, and we'll. I'll show you a video soon of like different stuff people have made. But someone made like a bowl to water their cat, and the cat comes up and licks the water, and then it like takes a picture. We're having trouble because the horse keeps moving from right to left, mm -hmm. and we want it to go up and down. Yeah. Up, up and down. So, um, so this is where we're stuck. And where is that one script where it shows you like the what it should look like versus what ours? Because to me they look like identical, so I'm not sure. We just need a third set of eyes again. Okay. What? All right. So when the green flag is clicked, go to random position. I want to show you guys something cool that these two girls did. Um, so what did you decide to add to your controllers on your paper? Uh, we labeled them. Yeah, so why do you think it's a good idea to label something? Anyone wants to raise their hand? So you know which one's which? Yeah, you know which one's which. Um, what if I walked up and I wanted to play this game and someone had turned the paper, I would have no idea which way it was up, down, left, or right. So I think this was a great idea that you guys labeled them. Um, what's another way that you could indicate to your user which direction each of your Play-Dohs were? You could make arrows out of the Play-Doh. Exactly. So you could make arrows out of your Play-Doh that show which direction they're pointing. Good job. Uh, I think it's about time for break. Do you know if your thing's fully like put into your So what you can do instead of holding that earth. You can set it on your tables. Oh, you 
always have to be connected. Using whatever you want. If you want to use foil, if you want to use bananas, if you want to use play doh, or you can even draw on the paper like they did in the YouTube video. Like this? Let's debug. You can hear my voice stop one time. You can hear my voice stop two times. You can hear my voice stop three times. All right, sound off, please. All right, so you guys have been awesome so far. I love your attitude. Everyone is trying stuff. So everyone's gonna have to sign up for a Scratch account. We'll need the TAs to help out. Um, raise your hand if you need help. Bye. So all of you guys have made some really cool stuff and we want to share what you've done so everyone else can see it. So right now we're going to have this side of the room stand up and come check out what this side of the room has done. And some people are still working through some problems, they may need some help, so feel free to help someone else or give feedback, tell them what you liked about their project, give them ideas. Yes, that's what programmers and coders do. Yeah. What do you guys think? Did you see this one? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. what you do, Look. I know I mean, where this but you His just press, is it'll cool. say but when you click, you press it when the sound is like the point. And then you keep it over the green, and then you just like, press it because it's connected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming. We have a survey that we always like to do at the end of the workshop so we can get feedback about what you liked, what you didn't like, what was maybe confusing. So if everyone could complete the survey and then come to me, I'll give you a Tech Girls sticker. So the survey is at techgirls.org slash survey and it'll look like this. There's a part that asks for your parents' email. If you don't have it, come to me. I have it on this piece of paper. Okay.